Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to welcome you all to the Aramco trading session and the presentation of the new Silk Road CEO of the year 2020. The COVID-19 pandemic has meant that unfortunately we cannot meet in person as we do every year. But at least technology has blessed us with the opportunity to gather today from all four corners of the globe and exchange ideas and the outlook of the year ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, after an incredible challenging year for our industry, I think we need a reason to feel hopeful about the future. I have two reasons today. The first is that we start 2021 with not one, but several COVID vaccine approved for use. This point to a V-shaped recovery for commodity prices, which we have seen kicked off in recent weeks. Of course, the bigger question for oil is when will vaccine be distributed widely through to make a difference? That said, I am optimistic that the market will recover faster than what we initially expected. The second reason for my optimism about the future is the five brilliant executive that we celebrate today as part of the 2020 winner for the new Silk Road CEO of the year, which we are all proud to host with the government of Fujairah. Much of the economic renewal of these ancient trade routes east of the Suez is being built on the foundation of the physical energy. With 60% of the oil and gas exported from the Middle East now distant for the Asian market. It is precisely the emergence of this critical energy corridor over the last few years that the new Silk Road Award are designed to celebrate and recognize the key industry architects that have made it possible and continue to do so. This was never more pronounced than in this last year of global pandemic where the international energy market threatened to freeze up under pressure of one unprecedented challenge after another. And yet, the key component of delivering energy to everywhere it was needed every day, trading, storage, refining, shipping, and ports, was in large part achieved due to the visionary work of our five award recipients. While I don't want to steal the thunder from the International Steering Committee members, who will shortly unveil the names of the winners, I will state they are skilled engineers, talented traders, and dedicated public servants. But above all, they are leaders. In our industry, leadership really matters. We operate on a global scale. The decisions we make can affect the life of literally billions of people. Our winners have consistently got it right on the big decision. Each of them has a vision as well as a strategy, and each has built a culture as well as a team. Together, they are helping transforming the global energy system, channeling jobs and prosperity on the rebirth of these ancient trade routes linking China, Africa, and the Middle East. Aramco Trading was born and raised as part of this transformation from west to east. We are proud to be one of the actors that has played a big part in developing the framework required for enabling energy to flow from where it is produced to where it has been needed to drive economical expansion for the benefit of many. We have experienced significant growth ourselves in recent years, starting in 2012, with trading around 700,000 barrel per day of refined product. And now we are operating closer to 5 million barrels per day. We have been engaged across the world for several years as our trading business expanded globally between Singapore, Tehran, Fujairah, London, and Houston. We trade across many different time zones. So I would like to conclude by congratulating all our winners who have certainly made their marks on these new Silk Roads. And now I would like to invite members 
of the 2020 Selection Committee to the virtual stage. My good friend Datuk Arif Mahmoud, Executive Vice President and CEO of Downstream at Petronas, to present the first Aramco Trading New Silk Road CEO of the Year. Thank you, and we hope to see you all again in person very soon.